So listen, I got a lot of questions from a lot of women, especially asking stuff like, you know, if he doesn't, if I want to be with him and he doesn't make up his mind and he's taking so long to make up his mind to decide, what should I do? Should I move on? Does he not want me? And the truth is, it takes men a, a, a longer time to make up their mind because a lot of times, the truth is, if a decent man, if he's a decent man, he has more options. These days, a decent woman don't have many options. But a decent man, everybody wants him. But listen, there's some things that a man will do that shows you that he doesn't want you. Number one, he will take forever to make up his mind. He will take forever. Two, three years. Somebody asked me the other day, or somebody told me the other day, that... Um, she been dating a man for a year and he still, you know, he still hasn't made it official as far as that's his woman. And I said, no, because he doesn't want you. It's that simple. Because when a man wants you, he secures you. He secures you. He might keep you there for a while, but he secures you. You know that you are his woman. You will know this because he tells you. He reminds you. Here's the thing, though. When a man doesn't want you, he reminds you that, hey, remember, we're just friends. Hey, remember, you're not my woman. Because he will tell you, especially when you begin to trip about other women. He talking to other women. He will remind you, hey, listen, we're just friends. Me and you are just friends. So I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not even your man yet. Understand this. A lot of times, if, if a man doesn't want you, he will keep you at a distance. Not too close, not too far. He want to keep you at, a, at an arm's length so that he can reach out and get you when he wants. Especially when he thinks that you're going too far or when you're going far away. He want to reach back and give you a call or a text because he knows exactly what to say. Because men study you. We study you guys, man. We study you. We know exactly when you're going too far. We know exactly when you might be kind of frustrated. So we know how to reach back in and pull you in. Because, you know, some of you all, you all led by emotions. So if a man says the right thing and you feel the right emotions, you go back. Because you can't say no to your own emotions. Your emotion becomes your boss. This is why I keep telling women, be careful with your emotions. If it doesn't make sense, I don't care what it feels like, don't do it. See what I'm saying? Now, if a man doesn't want you, a lot of times, it doesn't make sense that a man will want you, yet he doesn't come home to you. He doesn't make it official. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't ask you to be his woman. He doesn't take care of you. If a man wants you, a lot of times a man will take care of you. You see all these conversations about... So on social media now about who paying for this bill, who paying for restaurant, who, who, who paying for dinner. Who, it's because people don't want you. When a man wants you, he don't complain about who's paying for what. Especially when he trusts you and he knows that you are his woman, he don't complain. Men don't complain about those things. It's men who don't want you. It's men who just want you for a simple little night or a couple nights or three nights, four nights. You know what I mean? Maybe one night a week. That's meant because he thinks that he's not, he's not deserving. He's not worth it. You know, I'm paying for all this food, but I'm only hitting once a week, twice a week. It, that's, the, the, that's those conversations that people get when a man doesn't want you. You got to be able to tell when a man doesn't want you. So that you can cut yourself off. Because many of you can't cut yourself off because your feelings are on. It's on too tight. You're always in your feelings. You, you miss him. You want, and, you know, a lot of times a man will, especially when a man... In the, see, in the beginning, a man will actually meet you and he will do everything that he knows what to do to get you. And then after he gets you where he wants you, he stops, he pauses. And then the woman lives in the past. Women live in the past because you live in your emotions. Emotions are past experiences. So when you live in, the, because you live in the past, you always think that he's going to come back to what the man that you met. The man that he promised you that he was. The man that you thought that he was. The man that he showed you. You always believe that he's going to go back there. Because you believe in the potential of him being there again. And he knows that. He knows that you wait for him to be that again. So he's not going to rush. Because you ain't going nowhere. Because you're already in your emotions. You're already tied to it. And you don't want to move on. Because you have a feeling that he's going to come back. So a lot of times a man will do everything that he knows what to do in the beginning. And just stop. Act the fool now. He began to play games and cheat and mess with other women. And you still there hoping, well, he used to be good. See, people do that to you. 
because you are led by your emotions. Now, I'm not saying that you are right or wrong. I'm just telling you, when you see these type of stuff, understand that the man has no, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. He, he not, he's not stupid at all. See, a lot of times, the, way how, the reason why you fail is because you think that he doesn't know what he wants. He knows exactly what he wants, but it's not you. And even if he wants you, he don't want you for right now. He want to save you for later. See, a lot of times, some of you are allowing men to save you for later. Meaning, he doesn't want you right now. He's not ready for you right now. He's not ready for a relationship right now. So he want to put you off. He want to save you for tomorrow when he's ready. And some of y'all ain't going nowhere. Some of y'all really stay there for real. Seriously. You know what makes a man want you? Being Is you being able to actually be without him. You don't show him nothing. Listen, one of the things that for a man is this right here. You got to match a man's effort. I ain't saying match his energy. Match his effort. You got to match his effort. If he's not doing too much, you stop doing too much. If he's not trying hard, what are you trying hard for? And if he's not trying hard, you should be able to actually just go. Instead of asking a man to try and asking a man why he don't like you no more. Asking a man why he stopped. No, don't ask him why he stopped. He stopped because he's not interested. He stopped because he doesn't, he doesn't want you. He stopped because he doesn't see you like that. And it's that simple. The reason why he's not calling, he's not texting, because he's done. The reason why he's not coming to see you is because he doesn't want to see you. He doesn't miss you. The reason why he's not taking care of you because he doesn't want to take care of you. You're not his responsibility. And I don't, I don't understand why it's this hard to understand. Some of you make up your own reason in your mind. And I think you get confused for your own reasons because your own reasons don't make no sense. It makes sense to your emotions. It makes you, know, it makes you baby your emotions. But it, it's not the truth. So you're going to always be confused. Back to what I was saying. Anytime a man rush in the beginning and put you on pause is because he's setting you up for that, hey, listen, you know what I can be. So if you just wait, I can be this again. And a woman waits. And as she waits, she begins to change. She begins to get frustrated. She begins to lose trust in men, period. She begins to get annoyed and she begins to get bitter. And she waits. Don't do that. Don't be that woman. I'm telling you, if a man wants you, if he actually truly wants you, one thing that you'll be or one thing that you realize is that you will know. If he doesn't want you, if he doesn't like you, if he doesn't love you, you'll be confused. And you'll be confused about anything and everything. Where you stand, where we stand, what we're doing, who I am, who I am to him, who you are. You'll be confused. It will be it will make no sense. And when you when you see you are confused, that means it's not there. That means the love is not there, the respect is not there, the relationship is not there. You'll be confused. Listen, man, I'm not going to blame you, you know, I'm not going to blame women for the, the behaviors of men. But I want, what I want you all to do is to be aware. Be aware of where you stand. Be aware of your energy and his energy. Understand that it's not about wanting something so much that you will sacrifice your self-respect to get what you desire. It's about staying one with yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you do that, when a man don't want you, he'll, he'll tell you that he's not ready. And you think that he is coming soon. The truth is he doesn't want you. It's you that he's not ready for. It's you that he doesn't want. And I think that's some, this is something that you all got to understand. When a man says he's not ready for a relationship, he's talking about you specifically. And he's never going to be ready. He will never be ready for you. It doesn't change. It could be five years from now, he will still not be ready for you. However, between those five years, he will be with someone else and another woman. But it's you that he doesn't want. And I think that's what confuses a lot of women. When he says he's not ready for a relationship, for a commitment, he's talking about you specifically. That's not what he sees you for. Because let me ask you a question. What kind of man, what, what man will take his time to approach you? Talk to you, take you out, buy you dinner, or whatever, and then sleep with you, and then says, I'm not ready. So you do all that stuff just to not be ready? What sense does that make? So therefore, he got you for that reason. That's the specific reason he got you for. 
for that. That's why he will never be ready because that's not what, that's not where you stand for that man. That's not why he chose you. That's not why he, he picked you. He approached you for that specific reason, not to be ready for, but to be ready for, for something else. But you notice that whenever a man ain't ready for a relationship, he's, he's ready for sex. You are all hurting yourself. You are, you will hurt yourself if you give a man what he wants and you're not getting what you want. Thinking that if you give him what he wants, he gonna give you what you want. That's not how it works. Because when a man says he's not ready in the beginning, it lasts and it stands for a long time. It stands forever. When a man says he's not ready, understand, please take it personal. He's talking to you specifically because he will become ready for exactly the woman that he desires. It's like the perfect opportunity comes to you. You're talking about I'm not ready for the perfect opportunity. What sense does that make? Everybody will be ready for the perfect opportunity. Whether you're ready now or you become ready at that moment. Seriously. So when a man ain't say he's not ready for you, it's because you're not the opportunity that he's waiting for. When the opportunity comes, he will take it. But for right now, it ain't you. You're just a job. <laughs> not a career field that he want to be in. Please understand this. When a man is ready for you, all the things that you are complaining about, you all won't complain about it. I think you are just complaining because the truth is you are messing with people who don't like you, who aren't ready for you, who don't want to be with you. Yet, you are with them. Yet, you don't even know that. Sometimes you don't even know that if you are with these men. Because they never ask you. They never said that they commit to you. Some of them move in with you. You know what? You know, you know one of the dumbest things that you all do as women? You all, allow, you all allow men to move in with you guys. Where are these men coming from? Who are they living with? What? With Ray Ray, Kiki, the moms, the cousins? They always let the men move in with you and your kids. They are men. Why are you letting men move in with you guys? I don't understand this. You know, a man can't love you. A man can't give to you. A man can't love you if you're the one who keeps giving to him. See, a man can't love if he can't give. Only who a man can give to is who he can love. This is why a lot of men will leave you guys when you are doing so much for them to go with somebody else who is less fortunate so he can do for, so he can feel relevant. If a man, listen, you all got to stop that stuff, man. These men be playing games with you all because you all be playing games with yourself. Anyways, I hope you all understand what I'm saying. More to be continued. I got to go. Peace.